Hey guys, I'm here in the Pine Barrens. Didn't find the Jersey Devil, but I did find a camper here that we're going to tour coming up. And this camper is older than me. Seriously, check it out. Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. And we are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. If you want to see some really cool cargo camper conversions, hear from the builders, see some tours, and see some places we camped and some crazy adventures, then you are definitely on the right channel. Hi, I'm Rick with Cargo On. And Sharon and I are out here in the Pine Barrens at Hawkins Bridge campground. And the place is almost empty, but not too far away from us, we noticed this vintage camper trailer and we uh, ran into and spoke with Chuck who agreed to give us a tour of his 1959 travel trailer. Hi Chuck. Hello, what a beautiful day out for this, huh? It is. Camping. Um, this is a 59 Layton. I've made, uh, you know, the inside, I've changed it completely from what it was originally. Um, as far as I know, there's only one other Layton on uh, uh, 59 Layton, and that's on uh, 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 YouTube channel. You can look it up to see what it is. Um, it took me about two years to do it. I stripped the metal off the outside the whole inside, rebuilt the frame, put the metal back on, redid the inside, made the cabinets, uh, new axles, new tires, new rims. Uh, the structure underneath is good. Uh, two 30 pound gas tanks. Uh, I have uh, 200 amp hour batteries on it. And uh, that's about it. I put the hot water heater in it and uh, all new appliances, new heating system, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's small. Um, I go all by myself in it. My wife doesn't go in it, but I go in it, and we have a bigger trailer for the two of us. Uh, maybe we should take a look inside and see just what's going on. Here we have bunk beds in the back section. They're uh, 40 inches tall. There's one on the top and one on the bottom that falls down. It's got a uh, TV, a 12 volt TV on the side that swings around both ways. So you can uh, watch television in bed or you can watch it uh, from the seating area. You can see I put all new cabinets in, microwave, new stove, sinks. It's got a uh, six cubic foot refrigerator in it, large size. It's got air conditioning. It's got cabinets that pull out, put your stuff in while you're traveling. It's got cabinets over the top, pots and pans in any order. Upper cabinets here for, that's what it is, junk. And um, under the sink, a drawer underneath the, uh, the stove. And uh, this is a special surprise here. That's in case you haven't got a place to go. This is the old fiberglass inside here. Yeah, and it's got a shower head too. This folds up. The door is open. You could stand up in there. You can take a bath, you know, in there. This whole side, all the way down, was completely taken off. It had leaks from, from here which ruined everything. It was my brother's. My brother bought it in 1962 and I got it 2018 or 2017 and then redid it. Redid the windows, all new uh, rivets in the windows, all new glass, all new seals around the uh, windows. Um, this is the seating area. <laughs> Table's original, only I put new uh, wood on top and formica. These are not the original seats, these were redone also. It has a Bluetooth radio with four speakers all around. It also, you put your discs in, your DVDs in, and it plays uh, on the TV, the uh, movie. I have two fantastic fans. All my electronics and stuff is underneath the uh, seat. Water tanks under the bed. 
I have a 30 gallon tank in there and I have a 60 gallon tank in the back of my truck, a bladder. I carry 100 gallons of water when I go uh, boondocking. Do you use it a lot? Uh, yes, I travel quite a bit with this one myself, mm -hmm. for myself. So where's your next adventure? My next adventure is in uh, North Carolina, starting out in uh, Tennessee, Kentucky. Be taking a bigger uh, trailer, a uh, 67 Holiday Rambler. You have a bunch of older ones. Yes. I redo them, recondition them. I fall in love with them. How am I going to sell them? Do you live full-time in one of your campers? I live full-time in one of them, a bigger one, a 41-footer, with a big screened-in porch and open porch on the front of it, and it's a two-bedroom. We're going to head south, and in December, the, right after Christmas, we leave for Ehrenberg and uh, Quartzsite for the winter. So you showed me a bunch of pictures on your phone from when you were out west yeah. before. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about Bob Wells, you you know him? Yes, I know, know Bob Wells and uh, some of the people that he uh, hangs around with. Um, I was there when they were making the uh, movie. We have a lot of things going on there. They have what they call a schoolie palooza, where uh, all the school buses get together. That's really exciting. So let me ask you a question, Chuck. Why are you in New Jersey still? Are you from New Jersey? I My family has been here since 1630. They moved into Jackson. Um, I'm the 13th generation in the United States. I'm a descendant of Daniel Prime. Jersey's your, always your home base? Yes, it is. So how many weeks a year are you on the road? Um, weeks? Uh, months, months, I can tell you. Okay, months. Uh, it's probably months. about six months, about half. Awesome. Little, or maybe a little more, depending yeah. on the year, depending on how our health is. Do you have a favorite spot? Uh, yes. <laughs> I like uh, Mesa. Uh, Arizona or California mm -hmm. and uh, on the Mexican border and you can travel right across the border with your passport and get drug medicine uh, your teeth worked on glasses as far as dentures yeah listen if you can't bite into it the dentures if you they're no good yes yeah, if you bite and it works and you can chew they're good and they don't hurt yeah same with glasses if you can see out of them and see good the glasses are good yeah <laughs> And they make them good. Do you have a favorite camper? Because you have how many? I have three. The favorite one is the uh, Holiday Rambler. And that's this? A 27-foot vacationer. So, yeah, this is a 59. Yes. Yeah. And you have a 67. Yeah. That's a little bigger, 28-foot, you said? Yeah. 27. Mm -hmm. And then what else? And then I have a 40-foot uh, uh, Layton, uh, 2014. See, there's the Layton sign from it. The only thing that's different is... From the original Layton, is I cut the wheel wells out so I could change the tires easier when I put the new axle in. I put the refrigerator in. I put the air conditioner in. wasn't wasn't original. Back, I had to move the two back windows four inches back to cut to cover the bed. So you did a lot of custom work to this. Yeah, and you did a very good job. Got two thirty-pound gas tanks on it got the 180 amp hour batteries electric winch to get it up stainless steel window cover I made the front diamond plate uh, aluminum this is the outside shower so, and you just hang the shower right up there above your head? Yeah. So, Chuck, what am I looking at here? You you redid the axle and... Yeah, the axles, uh, springs, um, everything. Tires, brakes. It's got electric brakes on it. Wow. I love it. Great job. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?